Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, this little Ravnica Allegiance uh, thingamajig. Oh, did we just take Pestilence Spirit? Pack one, pick a one a Rooney. There's a lot of good black cards in here that may come back. I'll take any of these. I'll also take the Oligarch, the Mister Minister Mip, Ministrant, or the Syndicate Messenger. The question is whether Ministrant is better than Pestilence Spirit. They're both three drops. Menace and Death Touch is very, very good. However, like, if you're not... If you're not really taking advantage of the instant and sorcery spells have Death Touch, uh, it's almost similar to this guy. Like, they're both two toughness Death Touch creatures for three. This guy has an extra power and a Menace, but is that worth more than, like, a Ministrant? I don't I don't know. Ministrant seems very, very good. Just setting up the new office, and now that I'm watching, Frank has been proud. Nice! <clears throat> I've actually been building a bunch of Ikea furniture. I have a new, a new Besta to display statues, which I may show you guys at some point. And I also have a new Calyx, uh, a 3x4, so 12 cubies. And that's going to be my new dresser. And I'm putting, like, drawers and doors on it, so... It's going to be sweet. I think it's Ministrant. Oh, Pitiless Pontiff. Pitiless Pontiff is actually also very, very good. Uh, Law Mage's Binding, also good. Hmm. Play Best of One. Wow, that was... <laughs> that was good. Yeah, I think you did actually nail it. Oh my god, I feel like I, I, I have not been able to hydrate myself adequately the past three days from going like... I went to Ikea yesterday on Sunday. And I had my shopping cart ready on the on the app. And then like all the things were in stock. And then when I get there, the calyx itself, the white calyx I wanted was out of stock. And I was like... But it's on... It says it's in stock on the website. And so... I... Uh had to go back today and it's like a 35 minute drive away so i was like kind of disappointed because i was like well i guess i'll just go back the next day and i did and i got it today so i've been back and forth to ikea like three times loading up furniture loading it into my car by myself coming back home assembling it getting it from the car into the house and like it's hot outside it's like 80 82 today <clears throat> it's one of these two gold cards i know that much that's all i know i'm really just avoiding making the choice here this card's pretty unbelievable. I'm going to take the Pitiless Pontiff, because this is a sacrifice outlet. It's pretty... Oh, okay. Well, there's another one. I also like Orzhov more than I like <clears throat> Azorius, but that's just personal preference, mostly. <laughs> They're like, sir, can we help you load it? And I'm like, no, no. I'm good. IKEA world map is missing New Zealand. That's interesting. I actually saw the world map as I was going through, and I'm like, I need a good world map for my house. Actually, that's something I've always wanted. But I want one actual size, not the not the one that's like where America is like enlarged to show its its greatness or whatever. Um, I think it's actually Syndicate Guild Mage here. I think it's just nice to have those abilities on a guy. Oh, but here's a Gatebreaker Ram. And a final payment and a grotesque demise. This pack is very good. It's impossible to go Abzan though because you don't have uh, black, green, or white, green. So. <clears throat> I would actually want to get the one that doesn't have New Zealand. That seems like a cool misprint. I'm going to take the final payment. I think grotesque demise is worse, even though it is a little. Uh, Easier on the life total, so to speak. I'll take the Twilight Panther. Sticks actually come together. I'm okay with it. Uh, Plague White's nice. That is a solid two drop that I've come to respect quite a bit. Oh, well, that's a late Blade Juggler that I'm more than happy to take. Eh, Summary Judgment. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oligarch or Ilgotten? I think it's Oligarch. Oligarch is the premier one of the premier two drops in this in this archetype. Uh, I'll take the Macabre Mockery, I guess. Okay, well, I don't think I roost about. Oh, so they're just going to give us nothing on the wheel. Okay. <clears throat> That's nice. Thank you. Hmm, Watchful Giant. Not unplayable, but not thrilled about playing it. Uh, I passed the first play juggler because it's a common, and I think both of the uncommons, to have them in their deck is, is a little bit better. Cinder Vines. Don't care about you. Grasping Thrall. Honestly, one of the things I do like about MTG Arena is that the rares never... Um, I feel like the rares are much less likely to diminish the integrity of the draft. Like, let's say Cinder Vise was a $20, $20 card in real life, right? I'm not going to be more inclined to take it because of that. 
instead I'll take whatever's whatever's good on the merits of the draft because there's no it's not worth any more than a regular rare to me. I'm gonna take this grasping thrall. That being said, I'm gonna take grasping thrall. But you never have someone first picking something. Oh, mortify. Okay, our deck is getting uh, what's what's how how you say top tier. Mm, I actually don't mind big dumb crocodile. To be quite honest with you. I mean, 3-5 is actually just huge, and it stops a lot of things. Alternatively, we can take the Orzhov Guild Gate, but I don't think we actually need it just yet. I'll take a big dumb crocodile. Eh, vampire's fine. Actually, we can take Senate Griffin. Yeah, I like Senate Griffin better. Oh, Guild Gate, another final payment. And a Twilight Panther. I like final payment a lot. I think it's good. Especially if you have a bunch of the uh, <clears throat> afterlife gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Dead Revels is a playable card. Cons oh, an oligarch. <clears throat> it's funny because Consign is like really good, but it's six mana, so it's kind of like. Hmm. We also have double final payment right now. We have a Mortify, and we have a summary judgment. <clears throat> it's a good amount of rule. I think I'd rather just have the Premier Two drop. Okay, well, nothing great here, but I will take the Orzhov Locket. Hmm, Consign. I, you know, I don't hate it. Another Twilight Panther? Deal. Is that how I meme? I don't know. I can't tell you how you meme. I don't know how you meme. You meme however you want. That's the beauty of memes. You can do it however you want. It's really a... It's a really open... Open thing. Oh, a Theater of Horrors. That actually might be worth splashing. We're going to take this Basilica Bell Haunt, though. That guy's the Basilica Bell Haunt of the ball over here. Gate Colossus would be nice. We have zero gates. I'm not going to... I'm not going to go that deep. Another Grasping Thrill. That's a nice one. Good deal. Uh, Syndicate Messenger is very nice. And we have two four drops. Yeah, I'll take a Syndicate Messenger. Alternatively, we can take Gateway Plaza, but I don't feel like it's super necessary right now. If we do get past a... Um, <coughs> what do you call it? An, an, or an Orzhov Guild Gate, I'll take it. Just because I want to play Bell Haunt a little bit easier. Um, we have only one two-drop creature, so I'll just take this guy. Oh, another Blade Juggler. I guess we have two Blade Jugglers, too, which are both two, three drops, essentially. Um, I don't hate Footlight Fiend when we have double final payment and a Pitiless Pontiff. Do I think it's great? Mm, I don't know. I don't think we need a third Twilight Panther. Undercity Scavenger could be okay. Double Oligarch. I'd probably play Debtor's Transport over Watchful Giant if I took it. I don't think we need this, this, or this. I think it comes out of Footlight Fiend or Debtor's Transport here. <coughs> and I don't know which it is. I don't know which it is. I think it might be Debtor's Transport. I mean, Footlight Fiend does let us get in. Yeah, we'll just take the Footlight Fiend. I don't think we're going to play it, but... I do like a Sentinel's Mark. That I probably would find a place for. Yeah, Swirling Torrent's fine. Sometimes I take cards even though I uh, don't think I'm going to play them. Because they're that good. I'm just like, I like this card a lot. I'll just take it. I don't know what it is. I've been memeing since before. Wow, that's actually... I don't know if you can back that up. How come these are not Orzhov Guild Gates? Is that... Is that too much to ask? Wow, that is a big hybrid. All these green cards are very, very late. I feel like they were like, take the green cards. And I was like, yeah, I'm good. And they're like, are you sure they're really good? We're going to pass them to you. And I was like, yeah, okay. Probably take out Catacomb Crocodile. I always want to know how many creatures I have. And the answer is 17. Solid. Good, 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 good. Maybe we can take our crocodile here. <clears throat> we did call it Mameing. When I first got introduced to memes, I was like, do you mean Mame? <gasps> Whoa, look at this. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's definitely better. Oh my god, that's so much more that's so much more preferred. Look how small they are now. That's fantastic. Three rows? Oh yes. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fourteen, fifteen, six, seven, nine. This is nineteen cards versus what? Ten cards? It's literally twice as big. <clears throat> oh man. CTB, you are correct, buddy. You are correct. This deck looks good. I'm I'm feeling good about this deck. I will play first. Um, I'm gonna keep it. I don't love it, but if any, if we hit any one, two, or three drop, we have a blade drill on three or four. So, I can tell this is a big moment for you. Yeah, it was. It was definitely. I was like, I was really excited about it. I saw a garbage can yesterday, and I was like, Mike's gonna love this. But did you take a picture and send it to him? Because how else would he know? Pack one, pick one was Ministrant of Obligation. Actually, I think the default card that shows up as your as your deck box is your first pick. So if you guys are wondering what the first pick is, if I haven't changed it, then you can tell that way. Uh, Mike only has a phone because I let him have one. So, uh, yeah, he does, though. You know, it's if he's ever in trouble or he has to get a hold of an adult, I, I tell him, you know, just give me a call. Okay, we did not hit a three drop or a two drop. So it looks like our first play is going to be a five drop. That's, that's not awkward. Yep, this is going well. I guess mistakes are made. Oh, alright, we did it. I don't know. I don't know what we did exactly. I'm gonna block here 100%, but, you know. You gotta do what you gotta do. I have a trick, you see. Really? Post block, huh? Okay. <clears throat> well, you do you, my dude. I'm just gonna play Grasping Throw here. For one, Blade Juggler trades here. Uh, Grasping Throw blocks both of these guys and doesn't actually trade, so it forces them to do something else. Yeah, that's fine. So we can actually attack. If they go to pump this guy... They can actually play six drop and pump. I think we're we can't keep consigned a pit up, so I think we're just gonna attack. Play another one of these guys. Another bell of a ball over here. Oh, did you see the two life there? That was a nice little touch too. <clears throat> Pray for plagues thirty one. <laughs> He's like, I want something dark. Like, pray for plagues. Uh, that's taken actually. Okay, pray for plagues. One, then, I guess. That's taken two. Pray for Plagues two? Pray for Plagues 31. That's my age. <clears throat> okay, that works. It's much less dark that way, isn't it? We're gonna kill this guy because you're just gonna adapt him, I assume. But now you're dead on board. Grasping throws a hell of a drug. I'm watching you on mute as I'm with my DNG group. I accept. Rogue Optic. Wow, how did we win this game? Remember that time we didn't play a single card till turn five and it was a grasping throw followed by a grasping throw? That game escalated quickly. My god. <clears throat> so against this aggressive Rakdos deck, I don't think we need anything really. Catacomb. Crocodile could be good. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. You know what? I don't think I need anything specific right here. I'm just gonna, gonna run it back. We already have two Panthers. I don't think we need a third Panther. Schmutz off my shoulder there. Don't know what it is. Why do I have this Billy Joel song stuck in my head? Does anybody know? <clears throat> T 
do we keep this? Probably. Any hand with two and two is, is, it just makes me so happy. I'm just like, okay, I can cast literally everything I draw. And then they're like, here's a six drop idiot. And I'm like, oh no. Oh wow, two lands in a row, huh? Who saw that coming? What a shocker. What a twist! <clears throat> it's the Milady Goblin, it is. Look at him, he's, uh, he's tipping his little hat. Oh, Milady. Uh, just passing through, Milady. Alright, well, they, <clears throat> they haven't played anything, so we're, I'm okay with everything that's happening here. I don't know what it is. I just know that I can't block my lady anyway. Oh, that is a big boy. That's a big boy. Come on at me. Come on, tin. Come on, my lady. I'll block you. Let's do it. Let's tangle, my dude. I'm really tempted to tap a creature with power four. We can just tap this guy down. Yeah, that might be best. It's not like I want a final payment yet. Hmm. I don't like not... I don't like not putting more things down, though. And we get the scry. Oh, yeah, that's good. I'll keep that. Cassius, what's going on? I got your deck list, by the way. So, uh... Me and Mike might be able to do that tomorrow or Wednesday. We'll definitely see. Well, so what did we see last time? We saw Thrash. I think this is fine. <clears throat> I mean, this way, if they have a fight card or a pump spell, we don't get... Completely demolished. Okay, the literally just threw that guy away. Seems good. Sure. Sure. I will say no attacks. I will also end the turn. I want to say no blocks, but I don't want to go to damage. I want to be able to play Mortify after blocks. Okay. <clears throat> Got Discord turned on and interpreted with Twitch? I think you mean integrated with Twitch. But I accept. I accept. Mm, don't know what it is. I just know that that's a big old fatty. Oh, we can play Graspy Boy and tap down a thing, right? No, we have six mana. So we're gonna have to kill this guy. Not gonna fall. 
I'm at work, so try and talk loud so I can hear over the toasters. What does that even mean? Okay, that's a lot of Zertas. I probably just made them 2 twos and attack for 6 here, right? Put me to 4. That seems better. Gozies with Super Fritz! Super Fritz! See Super Fritz! Hey. Oh, he just killed my guy. Well, that's. It's not very mature. Final payment here is nice. I don't know if we're going to actually block anything. I'll just block here and I'll assume your last card is not plus four plus two. Oh, cool. Get there. Yeesh. Oh, that's not an ideal draw. Ain't gonna lie to you. <clears throat> Finally, join the Discord because I need even more. Yeah, the Discord is amazing. If you guys are subscribers or if you want another incentive to subscribe, uh, you can connect your Twitch account with Discord and you get to hang out in our Discord channel, which is pretty pretty sweet. She's alright. She's alright. Yeah, I don't care about that. All right, I think we're actually okay here. <coughs> Pass to block heirs. Block you, block you. Going to one here. Making a little floaty boy. Not what we're looking for here, but that's okay. This is an aggressive attack, but we actually have to final payment this guy, so we're going to get rid of this guy anyway. But if they have play any riot creature, we're dead. So, Whereas, in other words, we could have blocked and then... Yeah, so another reason we could have blocked and then killed this guy, which would have been better. Just had to get that point in there, didn't you? Wait, no, cancel. <laughs> Not that guy. This guy, because then we die. Well, we're not quite dead yet, and there's definitely things we can draw to stop this guy in the future, so. Of course, double blade jugglers are dead draws at this point, so that's unfortunate. I'll block. For obvious reasons. Okay, now we're probably dead. <laughs> I'm going on my own terms here. Except. Okay. Okay. Alexa, I think I, Alexa, I think I said something to her. I'm actually just going to bring in the crocodile. The one thing I don't like about Dead Revels is that it's great when you're ahead. If you're able to deal damage and pay for it for two, um, you get two guys back. Cool. Two guys for two mana. That's great. Um, but the other, the, the problem with it is that when it, when it costs four mana is when you're behind, when you can't deal damage. And oftentimes, if that's the case, like you're not gonna be able to get two guys back and then play both of them or play one, play even one of them sometimes. So the more I play Dead Revels, the more I realize there's very few situations where I'm actually casting Dead Revels, which is kind of interesting. This hand is a Sneaperino. I don't think we can lose with this hand. My cat was like, meow, meow. I'll block. We're not going to attack because we're going to block. And if they want to pay one man on their second turn to make this guy able to block, that is fine.
Alright, well, we are going to attack here. We're going to attack with both, because if, if they block here and they have a trick, like a pump spell, I don't really want to get one out and knock the cast blade juggler. If I'm taking damage every time you juggle these, I feel like you're really actually not doing that great. Okay. Yeah, I had a good feeling about that hand. And then we won. Put this on the bottom. I think we can get another planes, and we also have four lands. So, you know, I think we need a second planes worth. Literally, basil uh, bell haunt, basil bell haunt. Do you block the cat? <laughs> nice watchdog. Can't even get past this cat. Cool watchdog, bro. Double watchdogs? Dubs dogs? Okay. Well. This is awkward, because now they can just double block. I guess we'll just play Ministry. And then even if, like... They could just sack one to give the other indestructible, so we would never get more than a one for one. It's the best of boys. Well, now they're not going to block our Twilight Panther, which is pretty sweet because we're probably going to... Like, there's no way they're just trading one for one with either of these guys. We're never, they're never going to give this to us for free and they're not going to trade their 5-5 five, five for our one too. so... I'm pretty sure this is just a Blade Juggler turn. Although we could just play Syndicate Messenger now. Hmm. If we want to keep this up next turn, we can also Blade Juggle. So I think it's actually Messenger here. No attacks. Actually could have attacked for one. And they would have not have blocked, I would imagine. Yeah, we can take five. Okay. That is awkward. Funny thing is we can actually final payment and no we can't. That's not that's not how that works. We're just gonna pass here. This is a simple block. You're trading a 2-3 for a 3-3, and you're getting two 1-1s one out of it. Or a 1-1 one one out of it. Yeah, that was pretty easy. I'm a simple man. Yikes. That's awkward. I really want to hit another land so we can play, uh, well, not that. So we can play this consigned to the pit. Also another plane so we can play both of these would be great, but 
I feel like we're slowly falling behind. That is a good card. <laughs> we know, as we've drafted one ourselves. I think. Yeah, we're just gonna take three here. I don't think we're gonna jump block mode just yet with a consign to the pit in hand. Hmm, that's good too. This one planes is really grinding our gears, though. I actually want to use this now, because if they sacrifice it next turn, it's just a really good attacker. It gives them a really good attacker. They do have Resolute Watchdog, which is fine. But... Oh, it doesn't untap the creature. That was that worked out better than we could have ever hoped. Wow. Explain why your LGS is freaking out. Actually, I didn't see that. Uh, I thought that if they resolute watchdog as well to save this, I would, that would have been insane. Then we just have a four or five flyer, and we can't actually do anything about it till next turn. I don't think they have great attacks here. I think we can attack in the air. I keep thinking this flies. It's really hard to convince myself this is not flying. So, yeah, the MSRP announcement just doesn't make any sense because, like, a lot of stores... My local store sells packs 3 for 10. So, like, a lot of stores weren't even... But why would they raise prices? It doesn't even make any sense because most stores are selling them below MSRP anyway. So, like, it's not like they were using the MSRP, selling them for exactly the MSRP, and unable to go higher because of the MSRP. Like, it just doesn't make any sense because, like... A lot of stores actually give you a deal on multiple packs. So they sell boxes for less than MSRP, you know? So, like, <clears throat> it's weird that people would freak out over that because MSRP actually hasn't, um, I did not see that guy attacking. Wow. I was in the middle of a chat. Why didn't we block and then pump? I don't, and, and, and like, literally use this guy? I have no idea. I mean, three life could help. We're not dead yet, but... I mean, if they want to trade any one of their guys for the spell juggler... Wow, this is crazy. They're just throwing guys away left and right. We should be at nine right now. CTB, no worries, man. We're just having a chat. Well, that guy has to go. They're probably just going to keep attacking with this guy. They did not? Okay, well, why did you attack last turn, but not this turn? I guess because you were willing to... Yes, thank goodness. So the problem is if we consign here, we don't actually have enough mana to do anything else. So we might just final payment. Hmm. We could also just chump block it. And play Bell Haunt. I kinda like that. They have two cards. I assume they're decent, maybe. So Concerned that having no MSRP might price them out. That doesn't make sense though, because like Amazon, like Amazon is already able to put them at whatever price they want. People on Amazon can sell for whatever they want anyway. The MSRP isn't like preventing people from from selling them for lower prices, right? Like, I don't actually understand what what that what that means, right? If the MSRP is four dollars and stores are already selling for three dollars, let's say, then like. I don't get how they can go. They can't go lower. Like you can't like the cost of the product doesn't doesn't increase or doesn't go down. Pass to attackers. I actually want to keep this blocker because like 
if we want to consign to the pit one of these dudes, oh uh, yeah, see that's, like, that's that's a problem. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Next, next. Attack with this. I'll trade with any of these three. Okay, you're just taking some damage. Seems good. Isn't that, no, do not use any of our white mana. Actually, maybe use one of the white mana. We'll go to four here, but it leaves us with final payment and ministrant block, so we can triple block here. I like guild mage a lot, but we can't do that yet. I feel like we're actually in a good spot. I hear the blues are calling. Wow. Pass to attacker. Um, if we kill this, we can triple block here and there's a chance it dies. If we kill this, we can double block here. And then we're left with one guy and one guy. So it's one to one. If we triple block here, it's kind of the same thing. Morgan, what's going on? Six months in a row? What a time to be alive. Wow, it was like only four years ago. God, it's so... Time flies when you're... When you're supporting streamers that you enjoy. Thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate it. Okay. You got it. I forgot about that, I'll be honest. Pass two blockers. One, two... Do you have any way to stop this guy? I mean, we have Syndicate Guild Mage. It doesn't do anything. Do we just get more aggressive? We can consign to the pit this guy. Attack for one, two. Are, we, are they actually... Can we just kill them now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think we... Yeah, we just win. That's insane. Hold up. If they don't have another play... Oh my god. That's so good. Wow. Their last play, literally a drill bit that they can actually cast. Seems good. Yep, seems good. That would have been insane. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It would have been exact C. Well, it would have been off by 2, I guess. And this guy survives. So, yep, okay. <sighs> literally drill bit. Unfortunately, we have nothing that can actually save us here. If they block here, they take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yep. Seems good. Congrats on having a removal spell drill bit in hand. Amazon is cheaper for packs? Let's look up guilds of Ravnica. Ravnica Allegiance. I mean, Amazon has a box of Ravnica Allegiance for $96. Like, if, you're, if your store is selling them for higher than that, it's... I mean... I mean, typically I've gotten boxes for six booster packs for $19.97, so $20. That's like, that's three for ten. That's like what my, my local game store... Taking away Amazon sellers opportunity to undercut MSRP is an how are you how are you taking away that ability? But you you're able to undercut MSRP. Like you were always able to do that. MSRP is just a suggested price. You don't have to sell for that price. Whether you're Amazon or a local store. I don't understand. I'm very confused. Yeah, booster box for 100, right? Yeah, like that's about that's about right, right? Like so when Amazon sells it for 97, I mean, like, a lot of people, and you have to wait for, for it to be shipped. Like, well, it's one day. I could get it tomorrow if I wanted to, actually, which is pretty interesting. 
Narma, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Sorry, it missed out. It was not, not the intent. Let me see if I can update it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, um, well, that's not gonna do it. That's a lot better. Keep. Oh, yeah, keep that too. Man, that last game felt like it was so in reach. I think we should have been more aggressive with the. That five damage, though, like if we didn't just take five random damage from that dude, I feel like we would have been in better shape. Double Resolute Watchdog is kind of frustrating. Like, we just can't get around it with our X1s over here. Oh. Well, this is how you're going to be, huh? Okay. Yeah, I do not foresee us getting through. I would think just easily block, and even if we have to waste a trick to get through, like, we're wasting a trick for Resolute Watchdog, which is pretty awkward. Wait, it smells like Watchdog in here. What's Watchdog? I don't know. What's Watch with you? No attacks. Thank you. Oh, I think you should definitely still love Hero Magic and still want to support your local store, which is what I mean. Like, if your local store sells a box for hundred and you can get it for uh, for ninety seven on Amazon, like, I think a lot of people who are worth anything are actually going to just go through go through the local store because you're a supporting a local store, b you get it immediately. And, and, and see, it's like a very small price difference. I'm not going to block here because, like, if they go final payment, they can make it indestructible, then we just lose a guy. Like, it's just, it's all downhill. We can attack with both, but then we just lose our oligarch, right? It seems bad when I can just play Senate Griffin here instead. I will take a land. Yeah, sure. Gets us closer to consign. We lets us cast both of these with nothing on board. You think that is true? Really? Is that tr interesting? Yeah, I mean, we just figured they had final payment anyway, so. I did not know that was a uh, an uncommon. Let's not want to say thought process, but like an uncommon philosophy, I guess to. The Resolute Watchdog makes combat really difficult. I'm not thrilled about it. I'm pretty sure their final payment thing is sacrificing this guy, yep. I mean, it just gets to the point where I'm like, I gotta get this off the board. Did they put Oligarch first? Wow, that's great for us. <laughs> wow, that was a... Having a 2-3 against their 2-2 and their 1-1 one -one is pretty nice. Okay, okay. This turn's actually good. You can stay home. I don't really feel like having to go Pitiless Pontiff, Sack of this. Guy. We're actually doing well here, surprisingly. Oh, what? Yeah, this is an easy block. 3 3 on 2 th on 3 2. I'm okay with it. Unfortunately, we're just going to take the two damage. I'm not really going to block with anything because they have mana up to sack and we don't. Is it worth trading? Yeah, 100%. Oh, 
100% that guy in front. The discounted rate. Oh, Cynic Kickle Mage is probably better than just keeping up. Um, Death Touch Man out this turn. I'm playing Panther. I'd rather just have this guy active next turn. Yeah, it felt like this game was going our way. Is this really only round two? My god. Chat familiar with Dirium or Delirium? That was my local game store. Stop going when he got into every bit of internet. Yikes. Yikes. Um, I don't love this hand, but we are on the draw. Probably gonna keep it. We can play everything. When you have Basilica Bell Haunt, like I just want to have double double. Insulting. We have a lot of two drops and one drops. We have double oligarch plague guy. Yeah, doesn't matter. Didn't draw. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, come on, come on, one two drop or one drop. We have like seven in the deck. Literally no three drop either. Okay. Well, I guess we will. I'll take it. I mean, I'll probably kill whatever they play here. Except for that. Deeriums. Interesting. I've never heard of that. Oh, alright. We're getting there. So we can keep up Summary Judgment and play. Yeah, this is pretty good. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter what we do. We can just play whatever. Like, if we... Whatever it auto taps to, we can just play the other one. I might just want to play that. It blocks all the things. Yeah, let's just play that guy. Being at 18, I'd rather advance the board than keep up a removal spell for this guy can't die, this guy can. Doesn't matter, we're not gonna pump that guy. So the thing about spending 30 cents online rather than 50 cents in store is if you're buying like 100 singles, that adds up, you know? If you're buying 150 cent cards for 50 bucks or 150 30, 30 cent cards, like it's $20 difference at that point. I mean, I know I wanted like there was like 40 40 40 cards I wanted from my local game store when I wanted to try to get I didn't get a lot of uh Rivals of Ixalan. And so I wanted to, to get a bunch of back stuff, not even like good stuff, like not like um what's it called? Not like rekindling phoenixes and stuff, but just like commons and uncommons that I didn't have. And I was like I on TCG player there were like 40 bucks. Or $32, $34, I think. And I said to myself, I'm like, you know what? If they can give it to me for like $52 or less, I'll just get it from the store. Because I want to support the local store. I'm willing to spend like 20 bucks more. And I can get them now. It's not a big deal, you know? And they, they quoted me like $72 or $74 or something. And I was just like, I can't do that. I can't spend $40 more on these commons and uncommons and like bulk rares. Like Warkite, uh, Warkite Marauder and stuff. And I'm just like, this is just stuff I want to fill my gaps with. So that I have play stuff. 
And it was just like, it was just, I was like, no, that can't do that. So this guy's great to get in there. If we trade here, it's fine. If we trade here, if you trade here, it's like trading with any other creature. And this guy can only pump once, so. Um, now we can go this guy, this guy, and keep up either one of these. No, let's use black, white, black. Blade juggler. Wow, how TF is this a meme? I don't understand what you mean. You're, you're getting a little aggressive right now. If you're this aggressive in a magic stream based on the meme, maybe you're the meme. Hmm. Think about it. This is another game where I feel like we're in good shape here. Oh, they're hovering over my creatures. Okay, you got it. You got it. <sighs> uh, pass two attacks. Pass the end of combat. Is it my turn? Do we do we play anything here? I don't think so. I feel like they're they're feeling the uh, the one man pain here. I see no memes. My God, how do you see memes? How do you how do you visualize a meme? These are the questions we have to ask ourselves. So we can play this guy, this guy, and Names are subtle. How subtle. <laughs> oh man. Good times, good times. How subtle are we talking here? Okay. Sure. Okay. All this is fine. I just want to clear the clear the board just a little bit. As we play this gentleman. And maybe we play this gentleman as well. Yeah, we'll just we'll just keep guys on board. Like again, they have four power mode seventeen. I have no reason not to just throw these guys out there, unless of course they have a Kaya's Wrath that we simply have not seen yet. Which you know, have we had three Marim? I don't know actually. This is our third. No, because we played a Gruel deck, and I think this is only round two, right? Is this round three? Oh god, I get so lost. Errr. Errr. Well, now we have five power in the air, so I don't think we're losing by any means here. Thank you. I like gay Slaterman. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Aloha, brother. I didn't even see that. Thank you for so much for the resub as well. I really appreciate it. You guys are great. I don't care what they say about you. I'm to get in there with this guy too. Like at the worst, we sack at this, make it indestructible. Get another flyer. I will say that stores front the cost, and when they bust the box, they may only receive one or two of the good uncommons and maybe one of the good rares and mythics. I imagine they have to open four boxes and get lucky to go place with the playables. But they still need to make up from paying to have the selection in store and getting a ton of non-playables that may not sell unless they... Yeah, no, no, I get it. I totally agree with you. I think you're... I don't I don't blame I don't blame them for doing what they have to do at all. I definitely think there's like a mid a mid area where I'm like, you can meet me halfway. Like, not even halfway, but like, I'm willing to pay $20 over, like, market value. Carter, in your perfect meme situation, what would you expect? You come into a stream that's, that's advertising memes. What would you expect immediately? Because it seems like you came in and you're like, I want to see memes right now. If I don't see any memes in the next five seconds, I call foul. So I'm wondering what in your perfect meme situation you would be seeing. 
But I do appreciate you not you not meaning to seem aggressive. Um Yeah, we're just gonna cancel that. If they want to activate this guy, then I'll then I'll activate it. But I'm not gonna like pre preemptively give indestructible if you have no interest in okay, well. Uh, are you sure you want to proceed? Yes. That's a nice feature. Thank you for that. This is where they kill it. Error. They're going to final payment to this guy? That's sad. We don't have any recourse for that, right? I guess not. Okay, I'm going to take two. I feel like we're still a little bit ahead here. I didn't mean to seem aggressive, but I did. <laughs> you did. I was a little. I was a little afraid. Where are my gall darn memes, bro? <laughs> Where's my I like turtles kid? It's a good question. I'll pass two attackers. I'll pass to the end of combat. Is it my turn? God, time moves quickly. Get rid of this guy, he's obnoxious. Second the watchdog is gone. Now what do you do? Oh, you didn't even sack it to your pontiff? That's interesting. How big is your backlog? Not not really, not not I think we have like three or four in the queue. It's not that bad. And I haven't actually scheduled us several of them, so. <laughs> oh man. Alright. Well, end of combat. My turn. Oh see now Dead Revels is looking pretty good. But, like I said, we're already pretty far ahead, I would imagine. Let's get... Blade Juggler. So we have nine mana. This is going to cost two. So we can get Blade Juggler and Pierce Oligarch and still keep up Summary Judgment. I like that. Why would you tap like that? This, this, and this. End the turn. So we're going to take two here. You got it. Think about dipping my toe into modern and was just looking for some help so I don't... Yeah, I agree with that. Or I agree that that's a good way to go, rather. Also, buying a top tier modern deck is pretty... Uh, it's, a, it's a pricey meatball. Hmm. That could be good. They have one card, huh? We just alpha here? We just alpha here. So if you block here, you take... If you block the two biggest guys, three and two, you take one, two, three, four, five, six. So if you have another removal spell, you take four. And then we can pump to make five. So you have to have a removal spell double block. That's pretty much what you got. Okay, blocking here, blocking here. Sure, you take one, two, three, four, five, six. No, I 
the lethal. <laughs> sure. Sure. They could have actually sacked one of their guys. I mean, I don't think it puts them in any, in any sort of a game-winning position, but that was only two wins? Oh my god. This is exhausting. Are we 2-0 or did we lose a round? Yeah, alright, 2-0. I feel like we played three matches. It's been an hour. Matches take a while. Oligarch better than Guild Mage here? Probably. Like this is just a more uh this is a creature I'm willing to uh to trade with easier, it's more expendable. And we can't activate the mate most fast. If we can draw a, a swamp next turn, I'm gonna be real excited about it. Come on, swamp. Destin Pro, I'm doing alright. Hope you're doing well as well. Error. Oh, this guy goes. Whoa. Okay. Got my sound effect wrong there. That's my bad. Oh, we didn't hit any land whatsoever. No, oh, that's unfortunate. They're going to block here. We're just going to put Sentinel. So we're going to put the Sentinel's mark on it. Matches take long. That's the wisdom I came here for. I knew it. Putting this on this guy and making it so that this guy is indestructible, pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Fascinating. Okay, well, we have plays, but this is the last turn for that. I really don't want to attack with any of these guys. They double block here, they single block here, and they're just not, just not ideal. Okay, well, there's a lot of goblins. I'm not gonna lie. Is there anything we can do? <sighs> that was a nice hit. I mean, this is an easy sacrifice. Let's get rid of this guy. Do you just get to eat a bunch of goblins here? Oh, or even. Oh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just eat three goblins here. That's sad, because it means I can't really do anything else, but I definitely don't want to lose this guy, so... Oh, we got Death Touch! I totally forgot that. I should have put this first. Oh god, I'm such an idiot. I forgot we were going to use the Death Touch. Ah, <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> it's okay. It'll never happen again. It'll never happen again. Light up the stage. Oh, a rhythm and a, and a forest. Did you play a land this turn? You had to have. Oh, you played a Rakdos. That's nice. My turn. My turn. Um. Could be Senate Griffin. Could be Bell Haunt. These are the questions we ask ourselves. 
think I like Griffin better because it's three power in the air. I'm actually going to keep that. We got Grasping Thrall on the house. We got to play Bell Haunt and keep up Death Touch next turn. Yep. That all seems fine. I think we're still way ahead. Okay, you got it. That was fine. I mean, basically at a point where we can just block, we can just activate this guy a million times. Nah, just put him on. Almost dead on board. Three. Yeah, actually it is dead on board because we activate this, we attack for four, so. Tuna and meatballs. This is not okay. I made chicken patties and I got prongles. We made it. What is <laughs> that's a hell of a that's a hell of a statement right there. Good old prongles. <laughs> oh, prongles. Hmm. The old uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. We know they have this guy though, so they're gonna gain two. Ugh. So what if we tap this guy down? You block here, you take two. I do kind of like that. I wish I could have done something. I guess I don't get a choice. That's awkward. <laughs> well, all right. That'll do. I hate that. I really hate that I can't. I actually have no idea how to do that. Oh my god, prongles. <laughs> There's no way that's real, right? Once you pop, that's great. There's no way that's real. That's gotta be from like a cartoon that's me that's memeing on Pringles. Is it my turn? Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, that's pretty alright, I guess. I wish we had one more land. They have no cards in hand. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna take it nice and slow. Oh, this guy has reach. Come on, dude. As we throw away the game. Oh my god. Yeah, it's still taking it slow. We still have infinite. I God, how did I forget that? This is such an innocuous card. It's so easy to forget this card has reach. Yeah, that's fine. Pump that dude. You got it. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. There's no way you attack with that, right? Okay, they're just like, I'm gonna pump it. Alright, man, knock yourself out. Yeah, 
we gave them extra turn, which is, makes me sad, but... I'm taking a break, so I have audio again. Nice. Welcome back. Welcome back. Always a pleasure, Rogue Optic. Uh, we can kill this guy. Attack with everyone, and they block here. Block here. Take three. That doesn't seem... Oh, they can't actually do that. So they go to two, right? They have to block... Oh, they can, they can block here. They go block here. Block. Okay. No, just good. Anyway. We had a good run. They had a good run? Can you say hi to my D&D &D group? Knights of the Glass... Knights of the Glass Table, what's going on? I hope you guys are having a great sesh. I hope Dev isn't being too terrible. He's a, he's a real nuisance sometimes. Uh, I'm gonna... I, maybe we just want this Catacomb Crocodile. That dude's huge. More like a caddy comb crocodile. That guy chats all... They agree with you. <laughs> oh. Dev, can you stop taking pictures and please and please play your character? God. How do you do, my fellow kids? I'll keep this hand for sure. This is great. Pontiff into blade juggly jugs. Oh, that's even better. This is a, this is a card I'm much more eager to throw away in the early game. I don't know if you knew this, but it gives you a... No, that's... Stupid. Oh, two of these guys, though. All right. Come on, board. My eyes are cameras. Is that true? Did you, uh... Is that a, a bio... A biogenic enhancement? Is that how it was out? Hmm. Next time we can block and then final, final push the other guy. Final, final payment the other guy. We can also just play Ministrant and double block and get three guys on board. I kind of like that. I got that surgery. If you know what I'm saying. I don't. Yeah, we're going to double block one of these dudes. This is where they go land, dagger, back, juggler, whatever that guy's called. Alright, that's fine. It's not ideal, but I'll take it. So we can block and then sack the Pitiless Pontiff. That seems good. Land would also be good. I don't know if you guys knew about lands. Did you guys hear about lands? We can also final payment this guy and then attack for two. Try to hit a land and then play Oligarch if we do. Also just take five. I don't think I want to do that though when they have this guy on board. Come on planes off the tippity top. Wait, we don't draw the card unless we play the Wow, that was what am I doing? Oh, we're supposed to Oh, what was I thinking? I was like, hey, if we can deal damage, we can draw a card this turn. Wow, that was such a wow, I just black I totally blanked there. That was so weird. I got really invested in this eye conversation. That's so weird that I, I did that. That's unbelievable. See, now we can do it. And hope to hit a land here. And we still did not. Okay, sounds good. I mean, they haven't hit it either, but... Oh, never mind. Speak of the devil. 100% block here. Oh, God. Still no land, huh? Okay. Seems good. I mean, we have life and life in hand if we can hit lands. Planes would be great into any land, and then we gain five life. Alright, well, they have a pretty crucial, a pretty key number of lands here.
15 cards, 3 lands. Seems reasonable. Yep. This is why you get aggressive, and then West things you hit a land, I'm just dead. I'm just dead to this. You're just attacking with this guy. Oh, that was an easy block. I thought this was an alpha turn for sure. So then I'm just dead on board next turn. And we just traded that guy in four mana for one of the one ones. We're still not dead if we can hit Basilica Bell Haunt. Oh, that was it. And then we get to hit their last card as well. That's what we're talking about. Okay. Feeling a little bit a little bit better now. Come on, one more land. We can do this. That's a good that's a good top deck, my dude into a cult guild mage and a you know you can play both of these that's nice that's also nice okay we actually have double thrall that's actually pretty insane i don't think we're attacking with anything else though this is a bad blocks for this guy This is going to be hard to race, but I think we're in a position to do it, at least. <laughs> Discard a card? I feel like the two damage from consign and just being able to deal with the big guy is relevant. Crocodile also blocks literally everything, so. Okay. I think we're doing it. Shut up and take my money. I thought we were dead, but now I just think we're doing it. Shirt for a hat to complete the meme stream. I don't know if it's completed, but it's definitely it's definitely in the midst of it. I think that's definitely helpful. Cast me, thank you, buddy. Really appreciate it. Yeah, that's not the draw you're looking for. Now I have three, six, seven, eight, nine. If we can hit a land, that's pretty good. Okay, land off the top. We we've we've earned it. I'm pretty sure we've earned it at this point. All right, that'll do. Got him! <sighs> a steadfast Armasaur. A Fred Armasaur. Turn the corner. Did I say that? Did I say turn the corner? Wow, that was such autopilot. That was not intentional. <laughs> the cringe. <laughs> well, we're really firing. We were. I, th I feel like we were firing on all cylinders last round. So, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent keeps these. Oh, we got the gate deck here, boys. Are we off to the races? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think we're getting close. Oh yes, oh yes, the Blade Juggler on three. And the planes for the Basilica Bell Haunt on four. It's all coming together, guys. 
Scorch mark. Oh, the damage. Let the damage commence. I mean, they're 100% the gates deck with three awkward gates, so. Our hand is pretty stacked, though. Slime by for sure. That is a zero for for one. Fred Armisen's coming here on your birthday? Is he coming to your house? Are you just going to bounce that? But okay. Can I just drop two of them now? Or do I go Bell Haunt? I like Bell Haunt better because uh, this gives us a little more flexibility in the later turns. So, like, we can play this guy next turn. And then we have, like, if we draw another three drop or a Blade Juggler, we can play this and play the Blade Juggler in the same turn. Oh, Pittsburgh. Isn't that where uh, Pernicious Dude is from? See, like right now, we should have actually played the planes because we have one extra card. I didn't even think about that. I just autopiloted that land. Because now we can only play one thing instead of two things. And I'm a big dummy, but. That was me hitting all attacks. Do you see what happened? Rakdos Ruin, what's going on? I can feel it coming in the air tonight. I remember, don't worry, worry. How could I ever forget the first time? I don't think I really feel like throwing this guy out there. If they have gates ablaze or something, it's really bad for us. Oh, we actually could have sacked the juggler. That's true. I don't even know why I didn't think about that. Oh, Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, aren't they all the same? Do I want to deny them a card draw by sacking this? Maybe. No, I don't think I care. It just does so little. Am I drunk? No, there's just a lot going on in the chat. But I appreciate the kappa there. Alright, that's that's pretty good. Slime bind dot deck over here, my dudes. Well, now we're gonna play Twilight Panther because I just need a little more pressure on the board. What does our opponent's deck do? Do I do anything AOT? No. Also, Dead Revels is pretty nice here because we can sack all the crappy guys, get them back. Summary Judgment. Sure. I mean, I feel like they have a counter spell. They did not have a counter spell. Okay. This is something right here. I'm very confused with what's going on. Nothing. The answer is nothing. We had we got no exposed to daylight, so we actually have no way to deal with like three slime bind sky tether. They're just they're just all hardcore mobile. Probably on drill bit here. We haven't seen anything. Take out summary judgment. Take out the Yeah, actually I kinda want this guy in here. We can take out the I like the consign, it's just a general rule spell. But maybe they're just gonna put a thing on this guy anyway, so. Actually, I kind of like Bankrupt in Blood here. This might be the one match where I'm like, yeah, I'll sack two guys. Actually seems pretty good. I 
I remember. We'll get rid of dead rebels. That seems pretty sweet, actually. That's some, that's some tech right there. <sighs> I don't love this hand, but any white source. Oh, they let me play first? Wow. Yeah, we're mulligan against not. Yeah, this is better. Uh, I'm gonna bottom that because we want another swamp, not another planes. I was typing in the banker plays, you said, yeah, I'm like, if, if I got a bunch of dudes with slime binds on them, I'll just draw three. Sounds good. I've never actually boarded in Bankrupt and Blood, but I mean, this is like the I feel like the bell of the banker ball here. Don't quench me, bro. I asked you not to quench me, and you obliged. Thank you. Preach. Okay, mortify is nice. That also gets rid of their uh, slime binds. Bagamon, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. I'm, I might get a slower getting some undies. Do it. Meundies.com slash Franklapore for all your underwear needs. Um, we could just mortify this guy and attack for five, which I actually kind of like a lot here. I might actually final payment it as well. Mortify seems a little more versatile, and I'm okay with taking five here. Actually, we can just tap it down. But, nah, it's... Like, this just doesn't strike me as A, a deck with a lot of threats, and B, a deck where we really need to conserve our life total. Wow, are you guys talking about, uh, you guys are really getting into the Philly cheesesteaks over here. How could I ever forget it's the first time? The last time we ever met, 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 met. Oh boy. Oh boy. So Imperius Oligarch seems good. Mortify this seems good. And attack for five puts you to six. And then we have lethal on board. That's fine. Expert from monocolored. So you block here. I can just tap you down. So you're at one, and this guy's lethal, and these all these creatures are lethal, so you have to have, like, you literally have to have Gates of Blaze here. Got him. Got him! Well, we're in good shape here, guys. We're doing well. Our deck is pretty good. I don't love it. I like it better. I'll keep it. I don't love keeping that, but like we have a five drop and a six drop, and it does put us on on uh, on course to play the Basilica Bell Haunt, which is one of the most important things to me. I think. Okay. Well. Now we have all the lands we need except for one, but I think we'll be good. Oh look, it's. Uh, it's a gatey boy again. Two gate decks in a row. <laughs> no, 
No blocks, my, my good sir. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh, the old post combat third gate. Seems good. Oh. I will pump my RAM post combat, you see. Well, that is your that is your right to do, my friend. Realistically, I have a lot of ways to deal with this guy, but none of them are in my hand. Baram you. What is that from? I know it's from Warcraft, but what is it? Is it from something else? Is it a reference in Warcraft to something else? Okay, well. Is it Babe? Oh, it is Babe. That's right. Wow. All right, that's when I that's when I'm good. I've seen enough. Yeah, that ram is a little a little feisty. It's a feisty boy. I mean, we have double Twilight Panther and a Pitiless Pontiff. Babe is pretty great. Also, um did you guys know a little bit of here's a here's a tidbit for you that uh, James Cromwell actually became a vegetarian after filming Babe. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. It's either vegetarian or vegan, actually. Is it vegan? Oh, it might have been vegan. Yeah, he was motivated, motivated, motivated to become a full vegan and animal advocate after playing Farmer Hoggett and Babe. That's amazing. That's terrible news. No, it's not. It's not really. Having empathy for other creatures on the planet that aren't human beings is not really terrible. Oh, look at... Oh, bacon, huh? Wow. Oh, God. Bacon, oh, the bacon fetish has returned. Bacon fetish has been called. I'll keep this and try to draw a black source. America's fetish fetishization of bacon is extremely awkward to me. It makes me really uncomfortable, actually. Is this my turn? No. Okay. Well, this is... The video I wanted to link. Why don't you link it? You can link it. You know what? I'll block. If you have a pump or a trick, I'm, I'm game. I'll put a 1-1 one, one counter on this guy. Yeah, sure. That's fine. You're gonna do that anyway. Oh god. Oh god, what is this? <laughs> My god. Oh yeah, okay. This is this looks like quality. This looks adorable. I'm I'm on point for this. I said I'm on point for this, but I don't think that makes I don't think that makes any sense. What did I mean to say there? I'm on board. I'm on board for this. That's what I meant to say. I'm on board for this. I mean, if they have, yeah, we should have actually played around. We should have played around quench. If they have a quench, this is just such, such a blowout. If we played this pre-combat, we would know not to block. That's what we would. Eh, it's fine. And nothing was lost. Sending a guild mage with the, with the sentinel's mark on it is pretty nice because you get to do whatever you want, basically. Yeah, I'll, I'll attack, but I'll also activate it. 
that correction was on point. Nice. Well, I, I sometimes when I misspeak, I'm like, I want to make sure everyone knows that I misspoke. I'm like, I, this is what I did. This is a mistake I made. I would like to address it so no one thinks like that I didn't. Because it's so awkward when like you catch someone making a mistake and you're like, does did he know? Did he know they made a mistake? Oh man, this is not. Should I correct them? I don't know what to do. Can I get a swamp here? One swamp. I suppose not. Thank you. Stupid Java, 48 months in a row, my dude. What's going on? Welcome back, my friend. Uh, it's really rounded the corner. I think the phrase is turn the corner. I don't want to attack here because then they just attack with Steeple Creeper. I don't want to attack because then they block with Steeple Creeper. We could attack and then tap this after attacks, but I have no idea how to do that. Yeah, it's whatever. Oh my god, this pangolin rolling around in the mud. Come on, you gotta stop. Get out of here. You're making a mess. Oh, but you're being real cute about it. I don't want to keep getting hit with this stupid territorial door, but... Oh, alright. Now we're talking. This is an easy block. I can feel it. Coming in the air. Is it gonna get vigilance too? Why does it get that? We could actually go final payment and kill something. And tap a dude. And we could tap this dude, final payment this dude. I'd rather just play for all, I guess. What up, Chris? 48 months is a long time, my dude. That's longer than I've been alive. All right. Well, what does this guy say? Can we block a creature power to less? Sure. Stupid job, I really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so much. No attacks. Oh my god, just stop it. Why is every creature so big? This territorial boar has been insane this game. I think this is gonna be a loss for us. Well, that's not gonna do it, and I really don't wanna go to three here, but I guess we don't have a choice. Going to three means we have to double block both these guys, but like, what choice do we have? Wow, that's no good. You just gotta throw that guy into the ring. That block here, block here. Yeah, I think we're just dead. I can't imagine what we draw here, even if we were able to kill. 
I guess if we go land, we can consign this guy. Oh, this guy's trampled, so I'm an idiot. I'm trying to think of where to plug me on these. Well, uh, you could, you could just ask me like, you know, when you poop your pants, what do you do? And I'm like, well, I can then I go get some clean MeUndies, and you can get them at MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore, and you'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. So be sure to check out that link. You can find it in the description below, uh, and you'll get to help the stream out, because I get a kickback from that. You guys get a discount, and uh, I don't know, uh, I don't know how you get any better than that. I really don't. They're super comfortable. Uh, Mulligan. Oh my god. I'll keep it. I'll begrudgingly keep it. It would be better if they came with this on Meunday Sunday. Me Sundays.com. <laughs> well, they don't, okay? That was a good draw. Another Orzhov deck? Was it's like four? Three? It's, I think we've played two Orzhov decks and two gate decks so far. Me Dundies? <laughs> Solid reference. Solid reference. I was your last opponent. Didn't go. Just open your stream. Good games. Last block. Uh, didn't seem. I, did, I forgot about the trample. I mean, there's no block that I make that I'm not dead. I'm at three. You have two lethal creatures, you know? If I block, like, no, I guess I could block the 3-2 and the 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, that's fine. But, like, yeah, I, I, I would have went to 1, and then there's really no way I'm getting out of that anyway. So, like, I have to find a way to deal with a... Um, Gatebreaker Ram and a Fairy Guy. Fairy Duelist. In one turn. Now he shops at CrocodileMedundies.com. Which is a totally different thing. Oh, that's nice. That is a nice one. Are they doing something? What could you have here? Walker, good games. You too. It was down on these.com. This is all great. This is these see these are the memes we're talking about, guys. Are they gonna Sentinel's Mark? No. I mean I'm not gonna play Sentinel's Mark just to save this guy and not play this, so. If it's a swamp, I'll probably keep it. Oh, uh, I'm actually definitely keeping that as well. Tireless Tractor, what's going on, buddy? I don't mind a good late night stream. Wow. Okay. Aggressive. But I'll take cover. This is awkward. This is an awkward attack, though, because... Really? I guess that's still fine. The problem is if I just attack with this guy, they're, they're probably going to block. I would definitely trade Plague Right for Noxious Gruddian, so we're definitely doing that. I'm not going to trade these two, though. Wow. 
Wow, that's a great trade. I said plague right, plague white. White. Afterlife 3, huh? Yep, that's pretty good. Especially when I'm stuck on four lands here with a guy I can't cast. I felt like we were in real good shape. Well, please don't attack. Please don't attack. And then, um... And then, I thought the plague was why! <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. I mean, I'm definitely in the market to take five here instead of four. And then we just kill this thing, so... I agree, the attack all button should not be where it is now. 3-1-1 flyers is not ideal, but... What can you do? A swamp would be great. You can play a lot of things with a swamp. Just don't be a grasping thrill, that's all. Oh wow, that's really nice. Oh, you didn't get the big guy back? I feel like the big guy is real hard to deal with. Why get Oligarch back instead of the knight? That's weird. I feel like these last rounds have really been decided on, like, whether or not we can actually draw lands. <sighs> yep, that's a good one. Let's just go to the next game, because we're taking 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12. And kill 1, take 9. Yeah. And that's 17 lands. Yep, nope, not gonna keep that when I have a bell haunt in hand. Wow, is that a, is that a triumph the comic dog meme there? These lands sure are nice for me to poop on. You better take cover. Now I have down under stuck in my head. That's a little, uh, men without hats, right? No, that's a safe dance. Uh, men at work. Men at work is the, is the band. Okay, that's a good plan. Yeah. Well, now we have perfect curve. Perfect. Perfect. I'll trade here. I get the better end of that, the better end of that deal. percent block. Oh, a thousand percent block. Men at work without hats. <laughs> uh. I love Big Country, even though one of their best hits is the song Big Country. In a big country dream, stay with you like an overlord across the mountainside. Sure. Guys, a little late to the party, don't you think? One, two, three, so we can actually. I'm actually gonna attack with this guy too. Like, if you want to block here, I'm totally game. 
I will trade a Twilight Panther for a Vindictive Vampire. That was a good deal. Oh, we're doing it. Alright, now we're feeling better about this match. <laughs> Six mana. You got it. It's your thrill, boy. If they have Kaya's Wrath, I don't need to throw this guy out there. Actually, if they have Kaya's Wrath, throwing this guy out there would... Help us win. Oh, I like it. I can respect it. I can respect it. Nice. And I'll end this match on my own terms. Or this game, rather. Alright, well, this is it. Last game. This is for all the marbles. Every last gold darn marble. Oh look, two swamps. I'm gonna keep it because we got this plague white and we're on the draw. I'm gonna keep it. It's not paying off yet, but we got two turns. Two turns. Oh, crossfire. You get caught up in the crossfire. All right, planes, planes, and no more lands for the rest of the game and we will have a good time. Come on, don't do me like this in the third game. We have nine planes in the deck. This not only puts us off of this next turn, it means we can't... Like, we'll have no creatures next turn if they're not. I guess if we if they don't get rid of this, they don't play a blocker and we draw Blade Juggler, it's good, but... I think... Okay, well, never mind. Blade Juggler is not an out anymore. Okay, well, that's good. Now we have things to do. Our hand is just literally five removal spells and a Basilica Bell Haunt, which is pretty decent. Crossfire was great. God, I hope we don't have a pump here. It's gonna be so awkward if you do, right? There's not that many good playable pump spells. Like, no one's playing, like... The, the two, the plus two, plus two. <laughs> oh, wow, man. Stop. Just stop it. You're hurting my feelings. No one likes it when you do this. I swear if you grotesque demise this guy too, I will lose my mind. That's fine. I have so many outs for that thing. I kind of want to just put the pressure on you a little bit here. Put the screws to you. Hardcast. Okay. Pass. Pass. My turn.
Guess who's back? Morgan's back. This is me. This is me. This me. Um, yeah, I'll just take four here. And hope you don't have another blade juggler. That was abusive. I don't really want to cast this guy unless we can also keep one of these up. I'd rather just get some. We have double final payment, like. Also, if they want to kill something, I'd rather be able to go final payment and kill one of your guys in response. Oh, I just want to get some pressure on the board. Oh yeah, definitely keeping that on top. That's great. We can get two things back next turn. Makes me more inclined to, inclined to block. Taking six. Next turn we can attack for a lot. Play one of these jabronis. Um, let's go Cynic Investor. This is a decent block. Can we get a 1 1 out of it? Uh, just that guy? Yeah, no blocks. We have double final payment? Jeez. Could basically take a million here and not even worry about it. They could just have nothing in hand, too. They could also have final payment, sack this guy in response, which is pretty good. Which they do. So now they don't take two and they take they take five less ultimately. But they still go to five. Yeah, that is a big dude. But it doesn't really do much here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. That's that's how you win the game. Oh, drop that dude like it's hot. Got him. This is how you 5 1, ladies and gentlemen. You start with that, uh. That super sweet minister, ministrant of obligations. And then you, uh. You just get your crush on. Like, the, like you do. Alright, here we go. Ready for the gems? Keep the gem train rolling. I can actually just hover down here on the, uh, on the actual pack because I don't need to go up there and flip the rare because it's never gonna be rare. I 6 0 today. 5 0. I don't numbers. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. Oh. Oh, Angel of Grace? Oh. Okay. I would have rather a mythic wild card. Thanks a lot. Oh, I got excited. I was like, oh, three in a row? No. Huh? Dang it. They're like, they went a little slower at the end, it felt like. We got another one, kind of. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving, but I am going to end the video. Thank you so much for watching on YouTube. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Those links are in the description below. And you can also check out meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off, along with free shipping and free returns. And uh, I don't know what more you can ask for. It's a great deal. They're super comfortable. If you guys are needing those kind of things anyway, definitely check it out. It's a great way to support the stream. 
But slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.